All right, so let's start coding. All right, so let's open up VS Code. I already have mine to open, and let's create a new file. And I'm gonna call it main.go. All right, and you know, the dot go just let it know that it's gonna be a go file, right? What we're gonna use to write go code. And we're gonna first write our first line, we're gonna call it package, and we're gonna call this package main. So, a package in Golang is just used to pretty much bundle up related files together into a single unit and it makes it reusable and maintainable all right so we're just gonna just think of it as a way of you know putting all related files into one one bunch so we're pretty much just specifying that we're creating a package and we're calling it main and anything that we you know create using this package main is associated together so now let's actually create a function because we want to create an entryway into our application uh, we want to be able to start up our application so let's create a function um, and to create a function in Go, we will use the keyword FUNC, func, and we're going to give it a name. Now in Go, there is a special keyword called main. This is a keyword that lets Go know that this is going to be the main entryway into our application. And we're going to open up some parentheses, open up some brackets, and now anything that we put inside when we start the application is going to start from here. This is going to be the main access point to our application. This is the door to our application. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, you know, as engineers, we always do hello world as a, a beginning thing to do when we first learn a language. So that's what I'm going to do. Now to print in Go, we have to import a library um, called FMT. So if I go above this function, I'm just going to do import, open up some parentheses or open up some quotations or some quotes, I mean, and do the word FMT. This is going to be where we're going to retrieve uh, the proper functions to print out um, hello world so then now that we import that and you're gonna see some swiggly lines because we're gonna have to create uh, a module for this and, uh, and also another thing is if you have the goal extension it's also going to show the fact that okay we're not using FMT right now Go gets really mad or the extension gets really mad when you import something and you don't use it because what is the point right if you if you're importing something and you don't use it or if you have a, a line of code that you're not using so Go is very picky about that, so that's why I really like the extension because it makes sure that you're writing clean code. So let's start actually printing out something. Let's do FMT, and then you'll start seeing some of the things that this library has um, internally. But we just want to print something, and we want to make sure after we print it out, we um, put a new line after that, just to make sure that whatever we're printing has its own line. So we're going to do print ln, open up some parentheses, and we're going to use the word hello world we put a little exclamation point at the end and boom we see that the swiggy line is gone um, and because we're using FMT now go is not mad <laughs> and let's save this now let me open up a terminal right so that we can run this let's clear this out and let me do a um, to actually run it a go run and a dot now I already know this is going to break, but I just want to show it beforehand. Boom. Go run dot, and it's going to say go.mod file is not found in the current directory. So, what is a module, right? It's looking for a go.mod because, you know, it's looking for a mod file. A mod, a mod file in Go provides dependency requirements that are needed to properly run our module or our, our files, right? You, you need a module file in Go so it, that it can see like what dependencies are using and the path to to the files that you have so to create a module in go all you got to do is go mod init and you can give it a name in this case i want to give it a name of main and run go and you should see you know, a go dot mod and if we go inside of it you'll see that we created a module dot, uh, a module name of main and it's going to give the version of go that we're using which is 1.19 so it's going to be this is great so that you know when you're downloading dependencies and all that this is the version that you have and this is the module that we're using um, and if we run a go, go uh, mod tidy this is to let, know, uh, to let go know to download all the dependencies that we're using and to remove all the dependencies that we're not using so as the name implies it's just tidying up the application so if I just do clear again and I do go run dot boom we're able to run it now and if I go into my go.mod, um, you see that the module's main, the go is, you know, version is 1.19. 
and everything is good to go now we're able to uh, print out what we need to because now the application know where the path is to go uh, we're using version 1.19 and we have the proper dependencies that we need so that's a very basic basic go um, file and um, a, a very basic explanation of modules modules are needed um, to make sure that go knows first where your file directory is and what version um, of go that you're using and uh, the proper dependencies that you're gonna you know, use for that go application now another cool thing that we can do is that we can actually build you know go uh, this go file is executable so to do that you would just do go build and the name um, that you want to build so in this case we're trying to build the main go and if you do that boom you should see that this executable comes over here um, and it's called main and to actually run this executable all you have to do is uh, point to the directory um, that is you know storing this executable in this case um, this executable is in the same directory as um, my file so all I gotta do is do a dot slash and the name of uh, the executable and boom we should see hello world because it's just gonna run um, whatever, whatever was it just built so in this case the application that was built is just this print ln of hello world so if we run that we should just see hello world so there's two ways to run it um, but you know I'm just gonna be using go run um, dot which just means that we're just gonna run the main app the main um, application um, or the main function um, in this directory